Okay, I've now built my top panel. You can see I'll take it out and it's got a little uh, 135 degree angle piece. And that is a siliconed and riveted to this piece that I made special across the top. Fits on, fits on top. Like that, and it slides down that side. And it bolts through to here. So you can see that it's, it's in position. It comes out, it actually comes over the edge of each side, give a maximum coverage here. And I've closed the hood down, and it closes directly down on this. The only little areas that have a gap are these little raised areas right here and here, and I'm going to work on trying to seal that off. But I just got to start building the next pieces. Okay, I've been working out here a little while on this uh, paper template to fit in here. It uh, screws on, it's going to screw on here to this top piece, and it goes down here and screws on to exist some existing sheet metal, and there's going to be a few screws to hold this on, and it'll totally close off this whole front nose section on this side. And I've cut my piece of thin aluminum here from this piece. I fit it in place a couple times, put a couple screw holes through it so that it'll fit right down in that opening there. Okay, here's my panel that I made. See, it's got some little rubber edging here. It's got a little piece of foam here where it pulls up tight down next to the frame. It's got my holes already drilled in it. And this little rubber edging is where it's up against the sheet metal on both sides. So this is going to fit just to the right of the radiator, right in here. I'm getting ready to put that in. Okay, now here's the little passenger side piece. It's not near as big, didn't have to close off as much area. As you can see, I went ahead and I took me like half a day to get it all nice and lined up and went ahead and drilled the holes and I've got my edging on it. So, next thing I have to do is go ahead and position it in place right here along the side of the radiator. So I'll fit that down in there with a little silicone and get my screws to go together and I'll be, once I get that in, I'll be finished because this side is done. Okay, now I've got both pieces in here. See this little piece goes down in here. It seals this off down there. Got my top piece in. This blocks it down when you close the hood. This seals against the hood to keep everything in the front. All the hot air in the front of the car. In the front nose, blowing out this big hole here down in the bottom. I've gone ahead and run it. It runs well. Uh, it seems to do really good. It's not overheating at all anymore. And uh, But if I end up having any more issues, I can drill some holes through the sides over here on both sides to see if I can let a little bit more air out. But it seems to be working great right now. I went ahead and bumped up my uh, my connection and my wiring and my fusing to, 40, uh, to a 40 amp. Because this thing, that motor pulls quite a bit of current. So I didn't want to cook any wires, so I fixed those. So this is ready to go.